YouTube Germany friends, recently I met a Tai Chi master, a dedicated martial artist and fellow YouTuber. His name is Sebastian Constantin. He is born in Romania and lives now in Montreal, Canada. He started with different martial arts already in 1987. He's a certified Qigong and Tai Chi instructor. Tai Chi master meets Karate master. Enjoy! This is wonderful. Thank you. Danke schön. How was your day? <coughs> well, my oh. day just started. My day just started with my favorite uh, Qigong exercises. Okay. Uh, what time do you have in Canada now? Uh, eight o'clock in the morning. Eight o'clock in the morning. Okay. Yes, that's six hours, hour, six hours gap. So we are, uh, we are ahead. Last... The last days I did my research about Tai Chi Chuan, Tai Chi International Organization, uh, the history in China. Very interesting, the family roots. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. we are now in the seventh or eighth generation. And today you want to show or tell about uh, part of the horse mane. What it means. Part of the horse mane from it's the it's Yang style Tai Chi. It's, and it's I would a... like to I would like to speak also about the Tai Chi fighting spirit. Yes, okay. The tai Chi warrior. See, if we look, as you mentioned, history, uh, Tai Chi came from the line of warriors. You know, this technique was created and perfected to fight, eventually neutralize a bigger, stronger opponent. But. This doesn't mean that uh, we should be very light and we should not have strength. We should be very powerful inside as well as outside. That's why Tai Chi enhances low posture, low stances. So it will develop a very strong lower body, core and legs, thighs. This is the base of Tai Chi, not the upper body, but the lower body. And um, Tai Chi also, it has, it, it grew stronger spiritual. You see, the spirit of the warrior is to neutralize an uh, eventual opponent, but not to destroy him. As we are stronger, we can afford to be kinder with the opponent, just to teach him a lesson. And Tai Chi is really made for self-defense in the proper sense of the words. That doesn't mean, that means there's no techniques for attack, not really techniques for attack. All techniques are turning against the opponent. In a way, Aikido things. Like Aikido, I thought so. Yes. Now I'm going just to show a little bit the part the horse made. Yes, this was my question, uh, because you have fast and slow movements, you have big and small movements, you have different heights, you have different animals, crane, tiger, snake, would be interesting to see this different kind of movements. I will try my best to answer all these questions. And now I'm just going to show the part the horse mane. Let's pretend this side is left side, just for conformity. Let's observe the movement of the hips. What does it do, this technique? So first, when I, and when I did the commencing movement, I transfer, I enlarge the, ba the base of my base, but without transferring the weight. This is also a principle in uh, karate not to transfer the weight right away, because it can be vulnerable if someone is taking out the, the leg. And yes. also, 
I focus my mind. My mind becomes clear and focus on the technique. So you see this moment, it's a moment of finding my inner self, of getting into a meditation state. So like this, I'm very focused on the action. My mind is not uh, lost in many directions, but my mind is focused on one direction, what I am doing now. And then here, you see, first, the weight is here and I relax my, my hips here, I go down without bending the knees, no. That's a common mistake in the Tai Chi uh, beginners or Tai Chi practitioners, they just do this. No. <laughs> we, this and I, I bring this because uh, I want to create a connection with what I said before. If we want to be a warrior, Tai Chi warrior, that doesn't mean we have to be aggressive, but we have to be strong. To have and building the strength is this actually in Tai Chi training, which is not done much in the West, that's a lot of squats, squatting. So we'll do the squat. <laughs> so we become very strong in the lower body. I see, I see. <laughs> and then you see, we play with the balance here, here. I liberate. Now I can come here and I liberate this hip leg. This hand, an eventual punch that comes with the speed, and we're going to talk about speed and power, it will gently brush it away. Because, why gently? If I block it hard, then I will create a reaction into opponent. But going gently and putting my weight the opponent will eventually deviate his direction, but it will not counter. Mm -hmm. uh, I know this, this principle. This leg, it goes behind his leg here, thigh against thigh. And this hand comes under his arm and mm -hmm. pushes him down. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, uh, you know, the, so the, the weapon here, it's the opponent falling onto the ground. It's a sweep, you yeah. know. Right. Yes, it's a sweep. It's, it's, okay. it's not me who is going to hit him, but it's him against the ground. It's like his action turns against him. This is the principle of self-defense. It's uh, actually I defend myself without being aggressive and just neutralizing him. As the, as the fall is harder, he might harm himself harder. But the fall, uh, the intensity of the fall is related to the intensity of his attack. If he comes harder on a Tai Chi warrior, not on me, uh, then he might receive a harder counter. <laughs> now, uh, I want to bring another aspect. We've seen uh, videos in the media where Tai Chi masters were easily defeated by boxers or MMM fighters. And I think here uh, that was a misunderstanding about Tai Chi, about the whole concept of Tai Chi. Uh, these masters are also humans. So we humans, we omit some aspects. We do not take everything in consideration because everything that's built it's built on, related to our knowledge, to what we know and our experience, what we learn from books or experience. Yet if this master built himself a strong personality and a strong inner self, that means he did not really need to fight eventually in the street or he did not really eventually submit himself to a fighting training, which is different from this beautiful routine. Mm -hmm. So, probably, to me, he did not have a real fighting uh, experience. Yes. yes. I, um, yeah. I myself uh, brought in Tai Chi to personal experience. When I was young, I was inexperienced and the hormones, they were uh, flying around. So, I was involved in many, many street fights. 
So when I know, when I look now to application, I know that application might not might not uh, be useful in a fighting in a street fight, which uh, eventually, as we grow in a personality and we become wiser, we will avoid them easily. Uh, and then, uh, as I said, that fighting training for fighting is different. Training for fighting uh, involves one aspect to be able to receive punches or kicks. If I'm not able to receive punches or kicks, the shock of one hit will be stronger than a hit itself. And it will disorientate the person. Mentally if, first. First mentally. Yeah. Yes, mentally first, physically. You know, because physically, the impact it will create, uh, it will raise the adrenaline, so we are able to take it. But mentally, the shock will put us down. If you're not used to take hits or give hits, give knockouts, uh, you cannot fake it. Uh, it will be a great shock for the whole system, for the body and for the mind. You must practice it. Yes. So, as I said, a Tai Chi warrior should be very strong, sure yes. of himself, and kind with the opponent. I think uh, it's it's not the problem of the system, of the Tai Chi Chuan system. It's a problem of the practic practitioner. Uh, in my long career, I always get asked, do you think karate is better? No, I say the better man is better. The trained man is better. And he must be trained in all directions, body, mind, soul, mental stability. Uh, of course, high, high physics in strength, in speed, in endurance. In, and I think uh, if I may, Jürgen, the first training, the first aspect should be strength and endurance. That's because a foundation. It's, it's a foundation exactly. also for the mind. If exactly. you not conquer your mind with strength training, how you, you put it towards my thoughts. Dear channel friends and martial arts comrades, thank you for watching my videos. Please reward me for the work of filming, editing and sharing my knowledge with a like, a nice comment and subscribing to my YouTube channel. Yours, Jürgen from Germany.